New at 10, future computer programmers are learning how to rewrite their future right here in the heartland. Onshore Outsourcing in Macon teamed up with the KTVO Job Fair to give a diverse group of students life-changing training that will guarantee jobs for those finishing at the top of the class. KTVO's Eddie Kadem plugged into the lives of these boot campers to share their struggles and triumphs on the way to a new career. At Onshore Outsourcing and Macon, their goal is to bring high-paying computer programming jobs into the U.S., specifically rural counties. At the KTVO Job Fair, people from all walks of life were introduced to a unique opportunity to become part of the Onshore Boot Camp, a two-week-long program in which students are taught a variety of software development programs. I can remember week one, I was going, oh my goodness, how am I going to learn all of this? And now I'm going, okay, I learned that stuff. Now how am I going to learn this new stuff? The class runs from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday, and for most of the students, they have day jobs and responsibilities while attending the camp. I enjoy doing the coding, and, you know, I, I look forward to it more than I do, you know, my normal job. Yeah. I mean, you know, even while I'm at work, I'm constantly talking about what I'm learning here. It's a crazy experience, especially while doing college, but it definitely has been worth it so far. So hopefully in the last few weeks, I'll be able to say the same thing. For instructor Jared Popperfo, the mixed bag of experience allows for an ideal learning environment. Like a 60% a blank slate type of situation, 40% at least some inkling into the world of development. You know, they they provide each other with, with limitless resources at that point. The, uh, the 60 percenters are kind of lost in the dark and the 40 percenters kind of hold their hand and guide them to this point and then it helps the 40 percenters kind of relearn the things in a different manner, like the way that I'm teaching it, the way that Ontario wants them to do things. This being such a, a narrow scope, targeted learning, you you learn something, you expand on it, and you use it, and then you expand on it, and you use it, and it's essentially been the way that it's been since week one here, and it's uh, exponential growth on the amount of knowledge that we develop. Aaron Smith, a former Navy SEAL who is now starting a family in the area, hopes to be one of the three boot campers who is immediately hired by Onshore after presenting his capstone project to Onshore representatives at the end of the class. Wake up every day and I come here and I challenge myself. I make myself a better person when I'm learning and I'm giving myself the opportunity to do something that I enjoy as a career. A dream also shared by Philip Dissler, who currently works at McDonald's, and Dylan Osmus, who had worked at Adair Foods in Kirksville. I wanted to pursue a career, obviously, was just no career doing that, so I wanted something I could do for probably the rest of my life. Do you want something easy or do you want something that's going to, you know, constantly make you think about, you know, well, how do I solve this problem? How do I solve this problem? You know, there's a million ways that you can go about solving just one problem with coding. Every student agreed that even if they aren't immediately hired by Onshore, the experience has added up to so much more than just numbers. You learn a lot about yourself mm -hmm. because this class is not for the weak hearted. That is for sure. Um, I mean, they call it boot camp, and I would literally, I, I agree, it's boot camp. Reporting in Macon, Eddie Kadem, KTVO News. Eddie will return to onshore when the students complete the boot camp for a follow-up story. If you'd like to take part in the next boot camp, head to heartlandconnection.com. We have a link at the bottom of the story set up for you.